All right, so I posted a video about three tricks to learn after a kickflip. You probably have seen it, it's like the last one. Um, and I cut it up into short versions for like Instagram, TikTok, and uh, the YouTube Shorts version of it. Um, and it did pretty well, except for the fact that everyone thought I was talking about you have to learn it as a beginner, even though I said after kickflip. Um, so I'll just bring up a couple of them. So one guy was saying, beginners don't don't try these right after kickflip, maybe varial flip. There are a lot of easier tricks to help progression. So first of all, I never said this is three tricks for beginners. I said this is three tricks after kickflip that use kickflip. So the first tricks after that, varial flip, obviously that's a first one because it's just a shove it with a kickflip and most people learn that first before kickflips anyways. Second was backside flip, and I learned that right after a kickflip. It was pretty easy. And then I put hard flip in there because I think they're easy, and it's my list, and they are easy, and I, they're literally, they're still a basic flip trick. They're, it's just a shove it with a kickflip still. It's like, just be, it has the name hard in it, but it's not hard. It, people for some reason like to attack me on the internet saying that it is hard but I think it's because they just don't know how to how to try it so anyway these people are attacking me because I said they're come after kickflip um, but this list is three kickflip variation tricks these were three of the easier ones that go in each direction you know, like 180s shove it's and then another shove it one and people seem to really hate me for it now um, so I'm making this this video. So this video is mainly about hard flips because apparently everyone thinks they're super hard and you can't learn them after kickflip even though they're literally a trick that come after kickflip. I'm gonna basically go over hard flips and it's just gonna be a tutorial video. Alright, so first things first is foot positioning. Basically, you want your you want your back foot in this general area because when you pop it's gonna go like this and you want your other foot in kind of like a tray flip position, you know, like like kick flip but a little further back. So basically what that's going to do is it's going to, when you pop, it's gonna, the board's going to move like this and then it's going to give your foot all the grip it needs to flick it. So it's going to go up and then it's going to flick this way like a hard flip. Basically you want to put your feet up like this and you want to stand on your toes and what you're going to do is you're going to push down on the you know you're going to pop it like regular and you're just going to jump up and you're going to bend your knee up and drag it up like this so basically it's just going to pop go into your foot and then your foot's going to hit it and it's going to do the motion and then it's going to do the hard flip all right i kind of already my last video i did go into some depth on how to do this trick already um, so if you watch that one, you probably already know most of what I'm going to say, but... Alright. I've just realized that I have been skating for a while it's three o'clock and I haven't eaten anything today um, so I'm gonna go to Chick-fil-a all right I did a few hard flips before I realized I was hungry and wanted to go to Chick-fil-a but you kind of get the idea you want to put pressure on one side and then flick on the other side and you kind of want your front foot to bend up as you flick out so it brings it up with your foot you know um, and if you don't if you don't flick up a little bit then the you know it's gonna flick into the ground because it's just the way the work the chart the trick works um, but it's really everyone says it's super hard but it's as long as you understand where your feet need to go um, it's not that as hard as everyone is telling you it is it's definitely doable especially even if it's right after a kickflip I wouldn't go for it right after a kickflip there's definitely some other ones I do like the list I put in the back or my, my last video the list it was at the end of the list um, those other two were easier in my opinion to learn first and then once you get the idea of the spinning in a specific direction you can try it and then it's you know it's just it's, uh, it's easier to do it after those because I feel like they they help with it um, you definitely want front shoves first 
Um, it's kind of just a front shove with a f weird flick on it and foot positioning, in my opinion. Um, and if you don't like that I say it's easy, then just click off the video. Because apparently everyone thinks that it's the hardest thing ever. If you don't want to learn it, don't learn it. But I think anyone can learn it, even if it's right after a kickflip. So basically, you I mean, it is still a trick. Um, it's an impressive, it's an impressive trick. So you're gonna have to learn it, you know? You're not gonna like just get it in two tries. Um, but what I would say is you set up like how I was saying to set up and you just try it. Give it like five tries and depending on what happens, adjust your feet. So move your foot a little bit further back, or a little bit further up, depending on how much of a uh, flick it's getting. And then if you're not getting enough scoop, just move it a little bit, your back foot a little bit forward or back a little bit. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter where, it's different for everybody. For every trick, it's different. Um, so just adjust your feet slightly to adjust for it not flicking or not scooping enough, and you should be fine. But yeah, um, go out and try them. And if you have any questions in the comments, uh, ask me the questions. If you have any questions, comment down below and I will try to help you as best as I can. I've been doing this trick for a while. If you go down on my Instagram, um, I do them off of a lot of stuff or I used to whenever it was warm outside all the time. Um, so just ask me any questions you got. Also right here, right, right about there, there's another video you should click on and go watch that one.